Hey guys, Nate here with the Volunteer Tech Vlog, and uh, right now I'm up in the uh, the media loft here, changing out the rubber bands and this uh, the shock mount that we have in the uh, in the in the podium. The uh, rubber bands tend to get old and break over time. So as you can see, I have already removed the uh, the, the shock mount itself from the uh, the wooden pulpit. So these bigger screws right here actually keep this thing screwed into the surface of that pulpit. And then there's these, these smaller screws right here that, you know, that come off. So you can get at the rubber bands and you get them out of there. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Well, of course, my hand is blocking the light, so you can't see anything. But um, There we go. So I've taken those three screws out. This uh, this little plate here comes off, and I thought I was going to have to use uh, <laughs> just household rubber bands, which probably wouldn't have worked very well. Uh, but I found a uh, replacement. <clears throat> so let's see. This is the. Uh, I get my phone to focus. The Audio Technica AT eight four one five RB replacement bands for AT eight four one. Five, and uh, this is actually the AT eight four one six. Huh. So uh, I don't know. Maybe we've got the wrong, the wrong bands. It, that's what we got. So let's uh, let's work with them. And uh, as you can see, it's a little tricky to do. It's 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 actually impossible to do if you take this off of here. So I'm going to go ahead and. Um, Replace the rubber bands here so the, the podium mic actually sits in there properly. Now, one of the reasons uh, why this happens is um, is because when you take the the microphone out and you pull the XLR up in and out through this thing, it's got like this um, quick release tab. That one here. Here's, here's an XLR right now. So it's got this like quick release tab right here, and the reason why these things break is a rubber bands just break and get old, but it doesn't help when you drag this thing over the rubber band repeatedly, and I think that's what's happening um, because people are not aware of this tab and they just kind of pull that podium mic out of there, and it just kind of slices through the uh, the it catches it catches right there and kind of slices through. So um, the best thing to do would be to push this tab and then pull the podium mic up from the top. Um, and that is going to allow us to get the most use out of our, uh, our rubber bands and our shock mounts. Now it's a little bit tricky to do, but this is basically kind of, um, it's kind of what you want to do right there. You want to loop that rubber band just like that. Loop it around there, and then you can see it goes around the outside too. So that's how the rubber band should go. And then once that is there, uh, then you can go ahead and screw this back on with the little screws, and then you can slide this whole assembly back into the podium. Um, so I still got to put the I got to put the bottom rubber band on now. So now I'll do the second one. The second one's a little bit easier, easier to get at. So I definitely can't do this with my uh, with holding the phone. So I'll try to do it. I'll try to do it right here just to show you how to how to get this on here. So you've got this uh, this groove, this pattern that looks like that. So what you want to do is loop that guy right there like that. That was like the first step. See what I did there? Now this is the tricky part. You want to uh, pull that that way and pull that that way. Get it all the way around like that. <clears throat> so that's the second step. You can see that. Now we've got that pattern. So basically the same thing you want to do for both rubber bands. So it looks like that rubber band fits even though it was uh, for the wrong model number. 
Now we'll go ahead and put these little screws back on the top. Now that's really not the best mount for the job, but it's what we've got right now. We're looking to get into something a little better. As you can see why those rubber bands break, that gets pulled through, and that little tab slices through the rubber bands. So we probably should look at getting something, something a little bit nicer looking than that, or more functional.